coming up on this edition of Grand Iron Sports Talk, the third episode of this new show. We focus on wheelchair basketball, all that and much more when Grand Iron Sports Talk goes on the gridiron. Stay tuned. Welcome to this edition of Great Iron Sports Talk, the one and only program that focuses on abilities in sports despite disabilities. I'm Lauren Seiler. Arlene is not here today. On this, on this new show with this new season, we focus on wheelchair sports with Great Iron Sports Talk on this edition. Um, we would like to thank the Association for the Blind of Vermont, the Division for the Blind of Vermont, and many, many, many others, including Higher Ability, uh, with their partnership, and and uh, Weber of Vermont with their partnership, as well as Orca Media's partnership, um, in this uh, particular new show. Um, let's begin. The National Wheelchair Basketball Association can be uh, found at www.nwba.org. That is www.nwba.org. Um, so it's a non nonprofit organization that focuses on wheelchair basketball. And uh, so each... Um, uh, mostly, each um, NBA team also has a wheelchair counterpart, um, so on and so forth, um, in terms of that. So, um, so let me uh, share with you on the national teams. Um, the NWBA has 225 teams across the United States. Canada, Puerto Rico, and is one of the oldest, longest-standing disabled sports organizations, DSO, in the world. 85 youth teams with over 85 youth teams with over 1,000 athletes. The NWBA has both co-ed teams, juniors, adults, and uh, level plus a women's division. I will repeat that again. They also have a women's division. Athletes ranging from 5 years old to 65 years of age. The NWBA selects and develops the, US, the USA Paralympic teams. Um, and they have um, sections here. So junior prep. The junior prep division provides the opportunity for all players age 13 and under to experience the sport of wheelchair basketball using a basketball height of 8.5 feet. Levels of play, um, you know, it, it deals with schedule, scores, standings, etc. They have Division One, Division Two, Division Three, um, women's division, uh, intercollegiate division by men's, and inter intercollegiate division by women, uh, which is college sports. Um, so, um, and in terms of learning the sport, uh, there, there's videos here if you want to watch more about that. Um, and uh, the, it talks about the officials, the um, anti-doping rules, um, and they even have a webinar series if you want to find out more, um, you know, about, about things like that. Um, finding a team in your area, okay? So, as you can see with the map here, the N, the National Wheelchair Basketball Association team map, uh, there's... Teams all over the place, pretty much. Uh, you just have to look by <coughs> by um, where the teams are and um, so on, and their practice location. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, oh, 
uh, a very, very interesting uh, situation in New York. Um, the City University of New York, CUNY, women's team, um, which um, I'm going to give some addresses and phone numbers while I'm uh, here um, on the show today. So the um, for those that uh, want to practice in New York and um, are into college sports and wheelchair um, college sports, you, they can, you can practice at the uh, City University of New York, um, and their division is inter, Intercollegiate Women's Division, uh, and the team rep for that, the team rep for that uh, team is, her name is Alyssa Gunther, her number is 914-255-5732. That's 914-255-5732. And uh, her email is Alyssa dot Gunther at uh, at C U N Y dot E D U. That's C U N Y dot E D U. Um, and if you want to also start a team um, or officiate, you can go um, to these on top here. Um, but let me go. It's very. Um, this is a very interesting website. Um, I'm going to talk about uh, something in sports. There is something called a concussion, which is uh, very... The National Wheelchair Basketball Association understands the severity of concussions and is dedicated to preventing them within their organization. They have utilized practices from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention Heads Up Program uh, to educate their members and prevention and, and concussions and what to do in the case of suspected concussions. For more information on concussions and head trauma uh, with uh, wheelchair sports, you can go to www.cdc.gov forward slash concussion. That website, once again, is very important, www.cdc.gov forward slash concussion. All members, while competing in, in entry or athlete and non-athlete registration requires the knowledge that a concussion, that concussion information has been provided to you. Um, concussions 101. Very important here when it comes to wheelchair sports, especially wheelchair basketball. All sports and free play associated with the risk of concussion, um, concussion, including play, uh, playing, officiating, or participating in wheelchair basketball, is important that all participants and parents and, and guardians about concussions uh, prevention um, and and how to recognize them uh, and the treatment to return to play. A concussion, I'm defining here, a concussion or traumatic brain injury, TBI, is caused by a bump or blow to the head or by a hit of the body that causes the uh, head or brain, <clears throat> brain to move quickly and ba back and forth. Bouncing or twisting of the, of the brain uh, in the skull, uh, sorry, brain, brain or skull uh, can cause a chemical, can cause chemical changes, sometimes stretching the brain cells. A concussion disrupts the way <clears throat> The brain normally works. Uh, most concussions, <clears throat> most concussions. Um, let me get back here. Uh, return to play. Uh, a concussion disrupts the way the brain normally works. Most concussions are mild, but all concussions should be taken seriously because. Of permanent damage or death 
um, in one form or another or injury um, from injury. A concussion may be difficult to recognize. A player does not have to be knocked out to have a concussion. Less than 10% of players actually lose consciousness. And symptoms, symptoms may show up uh, right away after injury. It can take a few hours or a few days to fully appear. A person reports, if a person reports more symptoms and demonstrates any signs of concussion after a blow to the head or body, he or she is kept out of practice or practice training immediately or referred to a health or professional experience of concussion or management. A, a, a concussed brain needs time to heal. And a person is much more likely to have another concussion or, or return soon. Um, repeat concussions can usually take um, can usually take more or several more hours to heal, return to return to play, or allowed only. An individual without symptoms has progressed um, through concussion protocol and has been cleared by healthcare professional. Action plan overview. Uh, if you think you have a concussion, remove the athlete from play. Keep the athlete out of play a day, the day of the injury and obtain permission from an appropriate healthcare professional to return the athlete to, pr to play. And there are, uh, according to the NWBA, the National Wheelchair Association, uh, the National Wheelchair Basketball Association, uh, there is sections here, um, and if you can see, the, see your screen, there's an online training course on how to recognize the concussion, um, it's free, um, a free online training course, um, educational materials, what is a concussion, what are the danger signs, um, concussion signs and symptoms, and recovery from, concu from a concussion. So for more information on that, you can go to nwba.org, www.nwba.org. Uh, so let's go through uh, what is the danger signs here on what a concussion is, um, which is very important. Uh, it's not letting me. I think I did it wrong. Oh, let me go down. Oh, here we go. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not. Uh, it's coming from the Centers for Disease Control, and it is, it's the um, contact the Centers for Disease Control for for looking for that. But let's get back um, to um, more um, resources here from the NWBA. Um, the Resource Center is the website. For uh, members and non-members, um, and there's a guidebook on how to schedule a game. Uh, there's uh, fundraising, all that kind of stuff. Oh, um, very important here. You might want to do um, download um, the disability awareness guide um, for people that have challenges. You can. Um, Go here and download it um, if, if you so choose to. There's an advocacy guide and so on and so forth. Um, so for more information on their resources, you can go to www.nwba uh, forward slash uh, resources. Um, so find out more information about that. Um, there 
Let, let's go to the uh, teams by um, division um, in terms of stuff. So uh, there's the junior division, the eight, the junior prep division, um, the Col Columbus Knights, the uh, Del Dallas Mavericks, blue division. Um, again, um, the way it works is and sometimes uh, NWBA, the, um, the NBA might have a wheelchair counterpart uh, to this. So, uh, or they might sponsor a, um, like the Dallas has a junior team, Fairfax has a, 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 the Falcons, the, um, you know, uh, Comets, Titans, Sharks, um, you know, different names in terms of the way the teams, the Grizzlies, the Kings, uh, so on and so forth. And um, these are wheelchair teams. And in terms of this difference between uh, Division One, Division Two, and um, so let's go to the college, the intercollegiate uh, men's team, and I'll tell you how that works. So uh, the City University of New York men's team is in New York. Um, they have... Uh, it goes, the University of Arizona Wildcats has a wheelchair team. The University of Texas has a wheelchair team at, Ar at Arlington. Uh, the University of Wisconsin uh, uh, at Whitewater has a team. But I'm, um, New York is the closest, so I will uh, talk about that. The men's team, um, City University, New York team. Um, and here, as you can see, um, they, they go by uh, the, so you have the player um, and their, their stats and their player cla uh, classification and how they certified. And they are also on the team roster. So you can see that. Um, and there's other information on, on the side. For example, the uh, City University of New York men, now this, uh, this show will also have scores. We'll work on the scores of games and stats. And, and so the CUNY men were uh, against the, the University of Alabama men's team. Um, last time they played, um, the University of, of Alabama men's uh, was 61 to 37. So uh, CUNY lost that uh, game. And it doesn't say here when the next game is, but maybe if we click it, uh, it probably won't uh, say that because um, it's not the season for basketball. But um, the CUNY men, yeah. So the, the CUNY men lost uh, from 61 to 37 uh, was the final. Um, and... As you can see, there's different things here when it comes to um, the wheelchair basketball. And there, in the team website, you can go, uh, you can visit the website. They have a, it, it's part of the CUNY Athletics. So um, the CUNY Athletics uh, team is, is so, uh, so since it's part of the CUNY Athletics, the wheelchair basketball uh, part would be here as well. And we can close that. But since we are on the topic of CUNY Athletics, um, you can find more information on the City University um, New York team at www.cunyathletics.com. And you can also find out more about the wheelchair um, the wheelchair games, um, uh, which is, um, part of them as well. So www.cityuniversityofnewyork.com, um, uh, cunyathletics.com. I'm, I'm also, uh, part of the CUNY system. I'm a Lehman College graduate and very proud of that. 
Um, so you can go to the CUNY Athletics uh, part of the website, www.cunyathletics.com. Um, and let's get back to the Wheelchair Basketball Association uh, down here. Um, so, yeah, for more information on how to reach the CUNY uh, the City University of New York wheelchair basketball team, you can contact Alyssa Gunther, that's G-U-N-T-H-E-R. She's the team representative at 914-255-5732. That is 914-255-5732. Um, and you, more information on that. There are videos, there are posts, there are player stats, um, let me just show you how the player stats work um, with the wheelchair basketball they have um, you they have different stats and standings and photos and, and game schedules uh, we can go to the game schedule part um, if it's there yeah oh matter of fact it is here uh, so um, the next uh, um, uh, well, no, this was December, so um, the last game was February 9th, according to this. So, um, if, if you want to find out more if they win or, lo or won or lost, so, for example, um, they won a game uh, in um, December, and December 2nd they lost, December sixteenth, uh, they won, so on and so forth. So, for more again, more information on the City University of New York uh, CUNY Men Wheelchair Basketball, you can go to www.nwba.org and also the um, the CUNY website uh, uh, on on sports as well. Uh, and uh, by the way, uh, we will have more information on uh, wheelchair sports as we further get into this um, show uh, on gridiron sports talk and, and other sports as well. Um, again, today's website was mainly the www.nwba.org uh, www and if you want to find out more about the team and their schedule, you can forward select, uh, you can go to the forward slash schedule, www.nwba.org. And the CUNY Athletic uh, Conference, um, you can go to www.cunyathletics.com. That's CUNY Athletics, C-U-N-Y Athletics.com. And um, each college, just so you know about, uh, we'll talk about regular sports and wheelchair sports as well. Um, how the CUNY Athletics uh, works is that um, each college from Bronx Community College to Hostos Community College, Lehman College, so on and so forth, you can find out more information on, on their um, sports by clicking on this page. So each, uh, each school, uh, each school has has um, uh, scores and so on and so forth. So that's www.cunyathletics.com. And again, um, thank you for listening to um, or watching this uh, this show today on um, Gridiron Sports Talk. I am Lauren Seiler. Arlene's not here today. Thank you to our partners, including Orca Media. Uh, you can go to www.orcamedia.net and um, stay on the Gridiron with Gridiron Sports Talk, the only show that focuses on abilities and sports despite disabilities. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time.